Now we're into summer, fishing down the margins is coming more and more into play, and particularly feeding ground bait down the edge. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I mix my ground bait for fishing in the margins. So we do lots of ground baits, lots of ground baits available, but the ones I look for are ones like this, salted caramel, that's quite coarse, foody, quite a heavy, sticky mix. It's gonna stay down on the bottom when I feed it. So this is how I go about mixing it up. Just pour about a kilo out, which is what I'm gonna to need today. It smells lovely this. It's got Got a bit of salt in it as well, lots of attraction. But it's, if you look, it's quite coarse and it's quite sticky and heavy, which is going to be great for feeding down the edge. So to that, I don't sort of measure it out as such. I'm just going to keep adding water until it's quite a, a mess really. But the key thing is to make sure that all the particles have soaked up that water and they're really heavy and sticky. I'm gonna add a bit more. It's gonna look like a stodgy mess, really. Um, but because it's got a lot of pellets in it, a lot, a lot of biscuit, it's gonna take quite a lot of water to, uh, for them particles to absorb it all. So if you look now, it's quite a stodgy little mess. I'm just gonna leave that for about an hour or so have a little fill, if it needs a bit more water, then I'll add some water, and then 10 minutes later, I'll push it through a riddle. If it's ready, I'll just push it through a riddle, so all the lumps and, lumps and bumps are all broken down, and it should be a nice fluffy mix for us to feed down the margin. Really heavy, and hopefully it'll be ideal. Let's come back to it in a bit. Okay, so I've left it for about an hour, set some kit up, come back to it. It's turned into a bit of a, a cakey mix, it's all lumped together. What I'm gonna do now, gather it all together and just push it through a riddle, get rid of all them lumps and then what I should be left with once I push it through is a nice fluffy mix but really heavy and hopefully all those particles have absorbed all that water, it'll be a nice really heavy mix. Just the last bit to go through, there we go, and then what we're left with is a really heavy damp mix that will hold together, get to the bottom, be really heavy, stay where, where I want the bait to be on the bottom, hopefully keep liners and foul hook fish to a minimum and hopefully that's going to catch us some fish. Let's have a little go now, see if we can catch you one or two and see how I feed it. So we've mixed our ground bait, got a nice, heavy, sticky mix. So all I'm gonna do to kick off the swim, nice and positive, I'm gonna fill up half a big pot, just fill a loose ground bait. I've plumbed up my swim already, I've got a little marker on the bank there, fishing about 18 inches to begin with. Obviously I've got the option of fishing in shallower water if there are a lot of fish there or if they're not really having it, I can drop into deeper water where they might have a bit more confidence. So here we go, just gonna sprinkle it in. And you see that's going right down to the bottom. There's actually a fish nearby already, a little swirl there. So while a few fish gather, I'm just gonna talk you through my rig. Uh, I've got a 13 hollow elastic. It's nice and stretchy. It's quite a shallow lake on this bank. And when you do hook a fish, they do have a tendency to run. So with a 13 hollow, I can follow them out without putting too much pressure on. I've got 019 mainline, nice and durable. And I've got a 4x12 edge float, really thick tip, nice and visible. It's not going to get dragged under. And as I'm talking now, there's actually a few fish swirling. So all I'm going to do now, we've got a nice visible piece of meat. We'll go for a red piece, nice standout piece. We've got a size 14 XSH hook cube of meat, I'm going to go straight over the top of that ground bait and see if we can snare one straight away. So I'm just going to take my time shipping out, try not to spook any fish that are there. There's a few tails coming up, I'm just going to lower my rig nice and gently. There's a line bite there straight away. Just 
going to place my rig right over that ground bait and we're we're trying to ignore these little movements side to side and we're waiting for a positive bite like that so i've missed that one so while there's a few fish there still don't seem to have spooked any i'll have another go this time i might even try two pieces of meat just to give it that bit of a bigger bait stand out in amongst that loose ground bait i can see one or two fish there now still so i'm just going to lower it in nice and slowly trying to avoid the line bite side to side and i'm just waiting for a positive shoot under so that was a line bite there it's just moving this float to the side just going to reposition it lower it back down hopefully we get a nice positive bite So that big pot of ground bait's obviously made quite a big of an, bigger, big effect. And oh, there we go, nice positive bite. Saw that come in actually from the back of the swim. Nice big carp. Just waiting for that big indication. Just going to take my time with it. Got that 13 hollow, so it does decide to shoot off. I've got loads of stretch, but still plenty of power in reserve. It's actually coming in quite easy this one, doing quite good. There we go. So that's a nice, great big F1, probably about five pound. There we go, nice fish to catch. Hopefully we get a few more fish and get in amongst these great big carp there. Now I think because there's a lot of fish there, I'm gonna feed the swim, but this time, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. I'm gonna use a big pot again this time I'm just going to give the ground bait a bit of a squeeze lesser quantity this time because I don't think we need so much but what that does it makes sure the bait goes straight to the bottom it's not going to get wafted around so much you can see there's one in the swim there which is going to be nice and accurate there we go I'm going to ship straight back pick my rig up Again, this time, go for a red cube of meat again because it worked last time. 14 XSH, nice and strong hook. I've got all my shot just above my hook length, so it's nice and positive. If I get a bite, I'm going to see it on the float. So there's a few fish there straight over the ground bait, low it in over the top. Try not to strike at any line bites. There's a positive bite as soon as I laid it in. Might be another F1, this one. Not really fighting too hard. I'm using a long kit today because I want that extra bit of elastic, even though it is really shallow in the edge. Just a normal standard power kit gives me that nice length of elastic. So if I do hook a big fish, it's going to stretch for miles and I'm not going to pull the hook, hook out of the fish's mouth or end up with a break, breakage or a mishap. Just going to take my time with it. Just make every fish count. And while I'm playing this, I'm looking down the edge, there's still a few swirls there. So I think I probably don't even need to feed on the next chuck. There's a little cart, this one. Nice, pretty little common. See, there's a few swells there. Probably don't need to feed after this fish, but it's a nice fish to catch. Immaculate looking fish, that. Not quite the monster that we're after, but a nice fish. So I think we'll, we'll have a cheeky look straight again. See if we can catch a bigger fish while the fish is still there. Same again, Cuban meat. Loads of fish coming in the margins this time of year. Just looking for feed, looking to pack on weight. Oh, missed a bite. So 
So same again, cube of meat on the hook. Still a few fish there, so we'll have a look over the top without feeding. Just try and sneak the rig past them without spooking them. There we go. Rude Van Nistelrooy. <laughs> How did he get there? There's still loads of fish there, so there's probably no need to feed. Straight in over the top. Can be a bit manic this time of year when they're, they're coming in the edges to feed. Can be quite difficult with line bites and foul looking fish when there's a lot of fish in the peg. You've just got to be patient, wait for that positive shoot under like that. Obviously that fish splashed a little bit, so probably have to feed again after this fish just to let them regroup and gather, gain the confidence. There we go. Another chunky laugh with F1. Nice fish to catch. So like I said, just gonna feed all the ground bait. Give it a squeeze so it goes straight to the bottom. Still a lot of fish in the peg. Gonna be nice and accurate. Drop that in. Come back, pick the rig up. And then by the time I go back in, there should be a few fish there. And I can see one or two now. There we go, straight over and over the top of that ground bait. Just gonna lower it in nice and slow because there's one or two fish there. It's a really quite a positive rig. It's four by twelve. So I've just missed that bite. It looked like a positive indication, but obviously not. But it's no problem, still a few fish in the peg. So I'm gonna go straight back in again. Red piece of meat. Not going to feed this time because there's still fish feeding in my peg. Just going to lower it in, in amongst these fish. I'm just waiting for that positive indication. There's a line bite there, so I'm going to drop it back in again, same place where my bait is. There we go. Nice positive bite. It looks like we're into a cart this time. Or not. Another F1, I think. Yep. So this doesn't take too long to build a weight when you're catching chunky F1s like that. It's still the old carp about though, so I am keen to catch one or two of those. I think this time what we'll do, we'll switch it up a little bit, we'll put a cab pot on and we'll just feed a smaller ball of ground bait this time. She can do the same again, red cube with meat. Got a medium cab pot on. Nice nugget of that sticky ground bait. You can feel it's really sticky and heavy. Fish seem to be liking it at the minute. But just by feeding that smaller amount of bait, sometimes just sort of means there's less feed in the peg. And just means that they, you're not getting so many line bites and you, you're nailing more fish on some days. There we go. Nice big positive bite there. Well, on other days, you'll need to put a big pot in. You just, just got just to play it by ear and see what the fish want on the day. So we've only mixed about a kilo of ground bait up today, which is going to be plenty. But on other days, you might need a lot more. And this feels like a carp this time. Push some of the F1s out of the peg. Take it nice and steady. 
I've landed some massive fish on this 13 holo before. Just stretches for miles. But you've still got a bit of power to play the fish. Just gonna keep the tip nice and low when it gets close enough. I'll lift the tip and hopefully net it first time. So here we go. There we go. It's a nice big lasted common carp. Nice fish to finish the video on. So there we go. So there's a few tips for fishing ground bait down the edge. Hopefully it will help you catch more fish and enjoy yourself out on the bank this summer. Thanks for watching.